ready to start the call of the docket. We have uh, Baxter County case CR 2016-210, State of Arkansas versus Joshua Dix. Your Honor, Mr. Dix has completed an application for the Public Defender's Office and does appear to qualify. And I'll note uh, the public, public Defender's Office will be appointed in the case. This is for arraignment on charges of possession of a controlled substance, methamphetamine, Class D felony, possession of drug paraphernalia, a separate Class D felony, fleeing a Class C misdemeanor, and criminal trespass a Class C misdemeanor. On those charges, how does he now plead? Way full and reading of the charge and a plea of not guilty. Plea of not guilty is noted. <clears throat> this case is assigned to the Division Four docket of this court. Uh, the court will be setting this. Let's check on uh, an arrest date. Find one. Put down the arrest date as uh, July 2nd, 2016. <clears throat> and uh, We'll set this matter for by scheduling an order for trial February 27th of 2017. See, pre-trial date is set for uh, January 26th. And we'll put it down for a, a reappearance to check status of the case uh, on December 8th. There will be other dates in that scheduling order as well, but those are the three uh, most important. Uh, are there any other matters to be taken up in terms of Mr. Dix? Judge, what is this bond currently set at? $7,500, cash or professional? Judge, my client's a lifelong resident of uh, Baxter County, not a flight risk. I don't believe it's a danger to the community. And in light of the uh, nature of the charges, I'd ask for a request and reduction of the bond. What well, says the state? Now, this is a situation where this individual may have trespassed on the property of the victim in this matter. Uh, and created a situation that could have been much more unfortunate than what it was as far as violence. Uh, and you know, for that reason, we don't believe the bond should be reduced in this matter. Did the, uh, did the defendant have any relationship to the property involved that he no, was no. trespassing on? No, Your Honor. The court, court's going to agree with the state on this one. The, the bond is, is reasonable in light of the fact both of the, uh, at least, partial home invasion that's involved. Uh, you know, as I understand the affidavit, the allegation is that Mr. Dix was in somebody's garage armed with a weapon. Uh, and But also equally as important in the court's consideration on bond is the fact that he allegedly fled from law enforcement when they attempted to uh, take him into custody. With that in mind, the court will, will uh, uh, leave the bond at $7,500, cash or professional. Thank you, Your Honor. 2016-211, State of Arkansas versus Derek Holt. Your Honor, Mr. Holt has completed an application for the services of the Public Defender's Office and does appear to qualify. Court, court will appoint the Public Defender's Office to represent Mr. Holt, who's for arraignment on charges of possession of drug paraphernalia, Class D felony, possession of a firearm by a certain person, Class D felony, possession of drug paraphernalia, Class A misdemeanor, possession of a controlled substance, uh, Class A misdemeanor, two counts, and defective equipment, which is an unclassified uh, misdemeanor. In any case, uh, on those charges, how does he now plead? Way formal reading the charge and a plea of not guilty. And your honor, since he's on Judge Putman's docket, we'd ask for first available setting. All right. 
We'll send you, we'll, we'll see. Down to appear on July 14th uh, in front of Judge Putnam. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. You may be excused.